out a turn. First player blacks uh, power supply 450 watts, 420 watts on the 12 volt rail. Period. Warranty, even though there is only two here in Indonesia. Well, so the power supply has been opened. Possibly to slap a warranty sticker. Before we go more, I just have to say that this is the box from the advert material. It is completely different than what I actually have. Comes with an instruction too. <laughs> User guide. They just compile everything on the user guide from the modular to the normal power supply. I'll look at you later. And the box are power cable and zip ties, which is always nice. Cable ties. Oh, and those come with screws. What's the weight? This smell is awfully similar to EPRO PSU. It's about one kilogram. It's actually less than one kilogram. Wow. That is light. 800 grams that is more or less 800 grams looking from the internals from the outside it looks completely different to the advertising material the PSA being advertised in mainland china and the one that i have is completely different even though they are the same series and remember mine is genuine it has a distribute service warranty sticker that is pretty empty can't see the connectors that it has that is thin cables this does not sound, or at least does not weigh, like what a 450 might be. So you have one SATA, <laughs> no 3.3 volt line. So this is a relatively modern design. A single 6 pin, so it's not 6 plus 2. CPU EPS pin, 2x4, and another one of these, two Molex and two SATA, all in their own cable. So I'm talking about the PSU testing. This is the summary, if you want to watch the whole test and what happened. You can continue, you can skip this part, or continue watching after this part is done. But if you want the summary, this is the part. So the house base voltage is run on 215 to 220. The PC that's being used is a Ryzen 3600 at this settings, and it's using a 10 thread load from CPU Z. GPU is used is the RX 70 one to eighty core plus two hundred to fifty memory plus fifty percent power. Voltage is untouched, so it's at one volt flat. It's using the superposition four K option on game mode. Now this is the Zumba power supply, three hundred and fifty watts, four fifty watts, but it is actually three fifty. And this is just the general thing, this is the weight of the unit. And the cable thickness is two millimeter. And this is the overall efficiency. I will not talk too much about this because this is just a baseline reading. And we're going to talk about the first player one because this is what the video is about. So I remeasured the weight and it's apparently about 720 gram with the cables. The cables being used feels thin. It's not 2 millimeter, but it's at 1.7 millimeter, which is about 20 AVG. It says 450 watts and claims to have 420 watts on a 12 volt rail, which isn't the case because this happened. The idle current drawn from the wall is about the same. In fact, slightly more efficient than this because it's only drawing 0.5. However, at load, it falls behind. This at the load, which is 300 watts because these two are about 300. I forgot to say that. More or less, this is 300 watt-ish. Also, since I'm not really sure about the actual power consumption of the PC, I need to assume it's 300 watts because if you use ultra vision, it says 300 watts. And if you say you use the standard 80%, which is what most power supplies are, let's see, calculate. So, 350 times 0.8, that's 280. That's definitely a bit too low because realistically, this setup will never run at 280. It'll run a bit higher. So it's definitely higher than 80% efficiency. And in this one, let's give it 370 times 1.8, 296. It doesn't even reach 300 watts. The initial voltage reading is fine. In fact, slightly better than this, though it is on the high side. But I have no idea this because it, well, that happened. <laughs> so yeah. So if you're using more than 300 watts, don't buy it at all. If you're using less than 250, 
maybe but at that price point there are many other cheaper PSCs you can use even the one that comes with the casing or still silver colored is better than this well not better it's cheaper than this and will do pretty much the same thing so spending the extra for this is just complete waste of money the one that's being sold in Southeast Asia apparently seems to be a reject batch or a different batch than the one that's being advertised in mainland China or even the pictures that's being advertised on the local store which is yeah quite disappointing so this will be the setup on how to read everything there is a multimeter a, a clamp meter attached to a cable which will be reading the amount of amps this is a 350 watts unit that's being tested and the voltage it will read the 5 volt and the 12 volt no 3.3 because nobody uses n2 it's quite hard to actually read 3.3 because i have to probe it inside there and i'm not doing that something to note is that i won't be recording the test procedure so you really just have to trust me with this call if i modify the paper or not to the at the end okay so first boot test and the usage is saying not 0.3 all right so the voltage and current stabilize a bit along with the temperature obviously and we're at 0 0.05 flat and the 12 volt is at 15.05 with a 12 volt at 12.02 problem is will it last the load or will it crash this is the idle current all right now we're testing it under superposition load and there is some smell coming out of it not sure if that's good or bad anyway it's running at 0.17 not 0.16 not 0.17 at one time hitting 